landing pages versus websites. Now, this is for people who are running Google Ads or Facebook Ads, and why we um, basically run or decide and advise um, agents and clients generally to run your traffic to landing pages versus websites. Okay, now it does take a little bit of work to have another, essentially another website, but the reason why um, we um, we do that, I'm going to back to basically demonstrate it to you right now. So uh, stay with me on this video. Okay, so we're going to go to Def by PowerPoint mode. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. So um, yeah, landing pages versus websites. Now the typical website. Okay. Um, depending on whether you're looking at it on a mobile phone, um, computer, desktop, whatever. What you usually have is your logo up here, okay? And what you usually have is a nav, a nav essentially a navigation with lots of buttons about you, the team, and the dog, and the, you know, you might have a property search on there and stuff, and then you'll have a big banner. Um, and then you might have lots and lots of buttons, okay? going elsewhere so you'll have probably a link to the blog and all these sort of things now when we're when you're essentially paying for people to come to your website you want to first of all have a goal okay having a goal is very important uh, nine times out of ten we're looking for valuations aren't we so when you're spending money on a valuation you want that person or um, increase the chances of that person taking the action that you want Okay, so this is the typical website. And what usually happens is traffic will come in here. So you'll get eyeballs. So let's just say this is the direction of traffic from your organic posting, your Facebook and all that sort of stuff. And it's coming in here. And what will happen is people will browse around the website up and down, scroll around and they'll click on this button here. And then they'll go and have a look at some properties. And then they'll go and have a look at the team. And they'll go from heat maps software that we use people will usually bounce around different different sites so what happens then by the time they've got to the last page they've what they call bounced or dropped off as they call it so what usually happens is about 98 percent of your traffic in the first bit on from the first visit will what they call bounce so you know spending 50 pence 20 pound doesn't matter you're spending money for people to come here browse around your website and then disappear okay that's what we're finding at the moment now the best practice when you're running any kind of advertising any kind of marketing is to basically give them one focus so the reason why i love and bang on about landing pages now obviously some people run for the hills when i start talking about landing pages so all is forgiven not <laughs> so the reason why we want the landing page to be very 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 simple none of this navigation none of this okay so that by having that on the website it, it basically sends people off to different places so and that's not what we want when we're spending money from search so someone's either googled how much is my house worth you know local estate agent your ad then talks to them about getting a house valuation it's not about buyers it's not about tenants it's all about getting that valuation we want to drive them to a single page that gets them to do either one or two actions either phone you so have a big fat telephone number up here okay which you're hopefully going to be tracking okay so you're going to use the software or something like that so that's basically got to be a click to call I can your website speak to your website designers about that that's easy enough to do so make sure your numbers are clickable basically so and then you want a strong headline okay so what are you here for and then basically either get them to fill out the form so like something like right val uh, valpal and all the other tools that we've got at our disposal we basically want them to get their information so the great thing is get a free instant valuation 60 seconds all that sort of stuff, get the name, email address, and telephone number. That's it. We don't want any shots of anything else, basically. We don't want them going off to anywhere else. You'll notice that there's no nav. So that's and that increases uptake because it's single focus. That's it. Now you can run many of these. You don't have to have the one page. You can have one for sales, one for letting. So one for sales valuations, one for rental valuations. You can have one for land. So you can have little what they call micro sites, which is the common 
common term now these days all about this this is why when you have a website that talks about this your conversion goes hopefully you'll see people actually putting their name and email addressing because they've got no hours to go there's no little cheeky team photo there's no cheeky little picture of the dog there's no you know property search um and it you know when you're running paid media you want to stay single focused okay so that is why we run landing pages when we're running ppc and we always 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 suggest that clients do now some people take it on board and go yeah let's go or they'll drive them to the traditional website both is good but best practice when you're spending money and it's like this is what we advise um you know look at investing they're not big money um, these days, respectively, you know, considering how much your website costs. It's a fraction of the website. But there's still some infrastructure that you need, so you still need to have it plugged into your CRM or your email follow-up and all that sort of stuff. So if they don't pick up the phone to the first phone call, because hopefully you're phoning people up once they've given, this, um, given their information. So I'm going off on a tangent now, but it's very important that you've got a back end as well, okay? Now, usually websites sometimes do sometimes don't you know there's a lot of smart stuff out there now so yeah that's my little rant for today uh if you've got any questions um about landing pages versus websites then uh re this video if you've got a further question than that then uh, drop a comment in below and i'm here to help and serve you lovely people all right take it easy have a fantastic day